so deep. The tight end who most epitomizes the versatility necessary to play the position is the Raiders' Todd Christensen. Christensen might be the only player in the game to have scored a safety, returned both a punt and a kickoff, recovered a fumble, blocked a punt, snapped for punts, caught a touchdown pass, run from scrimmage, and in 1983 set an NFL record for tight ends with 92 receptions. Today's tight ends are either offensive linemen with aspirations of stardom or glamour wide receivers who occasionally have to take out the garbage. It's a schizophrenic position played by some of the most versatile athletes in the game. Tight end soft hands and grace are luxury accessories. A sturdy body has to be a standard feature. Those tight ends that get the most acclaim are those that make the big catches down the field and those that can basically beat a one-on-one -on -one defender. But the top criteria is catching a ball and then receiving heavy contact as the ball is caught because tight ends just can't cough up a catch. The tight end, I guess his best asset could be having a hard head because it gets beat on a lot by the linebackers. They're trying to intimidate you. You just can't have that happen to you. you got to know that uh, to come up with the ball is important and you know you're going to get clocked once in a while. The ability to absorb a defender's best shot allows a tight end to make the crucial third down catch. But physical strength and toughness are also essential in enabling a tight end to perform what many successful coaches contend is still the primary function of the position, that of a blocker. Without the blocking at tight end, teams just don't seem to have the sustained uh, success that would take them to a world's championship. In 1983, Los Angeles Raider tight end Todd Christensen helped clear the path for his team's journey to an NFL title. But Christensen is quick to point out the versatile nature of the position. The fact of the matter is that a tight end is required to do a lot of different things, a myriad of skills. That's why I define a position as the Renaissance man, or the decathlete of football. If tight ends are the decathletes of pro football, then Christensen is the reigning gold medalist. Since 1982, he has averaged over 70 receptions a season, including a tight end record 92 catches in 1983. And Christensen's physical skills blend perfectly with his unparalleled design. My greatest asset is I have a whole lot of wanna. After having been cut by two teams, but I have no delusions of grandeur. So I kind of want the ball. I want everything. I want all the attention that, uh, that the perquisites of stardom will bring because it's my turn. Christensen has earned his star status by performing brilliantly in the unheralded role. Often required to be the fall guy in an over-the-middle scene, he still refuses to be upstaged by opposing defenders. Tight ends do periodically have to go over the middle, and that requires a certain amount of courage. I remember reading Jerry Kramer's book, uh, Farewell to Football, and he talked about being an offensive lineman, that the line between courage and stupidity was razor thin. And I'll be honest, I've crossed that line <laughs> a couple of times. Christensen is unique among NFL tight ends, and his individualism is reflected in the unpredictability of his pass routes. Able to adjust quickly to different defensive coverages, few players can match the Raider receiver's skill at finding the open seat. Christensen's improvisational pass patterns are now very much in vogue. Their popularity didn't happen overnight. I used to do those patterns when I was a third string tight end. And everybody used to tell me that they're idiotic and I shouldn't do them. Now all of a sudden, when I'm a starter, they turn out to be brilliant. I don't know why that is. Interesting metamorphosis once you get in the lineup. All of a sudden, people are interested in what you have to say and you're much more intelligent and a lot better looking, I might add. are not deceiving. And Christensen's look of a winner is definitely no accident. I think that one of the things that a receiver needs to understand is the responsibility. The responsibility that comes with catching the ball and enjoying the success and the responsibility that comes with dropping it and being the goof. And I'm willing to take the responsibility. Like I said, I've been cut twice. I was a nobody. I want this badly. This is the extension of my self-worth. This is all I have. 
because at 29 years of age, nobody is going to pay me to do anything else the way they're paying me to do this. I'm not heading for corporate headquarters at IBM, nor as a professor at some university. This is what I do best. Todd Christensen's rise to stardom has helped direct the spotlight to an often overlooked but demanding position.